everything in so much detail. Well, I suppose I can't blame you for your mistake. It seems Blaze was after John as well, you see. So there were two kidnappings. He's such a fool, you know. Wait a minute. Who the fuck was it that constantly said you know and you see? Oh no! It's someone from a previous case, but I can't bloody put my finger on it. It's such a shame, you know? Such a shame, you see? Fuck. Oh, I really don't know. Kidnapping his own son instead. Is John there with you? If he is, then I would like to hear his voice. Hmm. He's here, but I'm afraid I can't do that. You see, he's asleep right now. In that case, there's no way for us to know if you really kidnapped John or not. Hmm. I suppose you don't have to believe me if you don't want to. What is your objective? Is it to get Patricia Rowland declared not guilty? A not guilty verdict, eh? I couldn't care less about that. So his objective is different from Blaze's. I think I'll keep my objective a secret for now. Well then, I must be going. I hope you enjoy yourself, Mr. Edwards. Oh my god, I need to Google this. But if I do, I can't use the emulator. Don't think you can get away with this. So, hang on. Is... I really want to just know who the, co who the uh, character is. If, if I can. I'm just doing, like, you know... You see. Who said it? Who was it? Oh my god, I don't remember who it was. Do it the fact it says you know and you see all the time. It's all the matters, you know. Fuck, who was it? Oh, I don't remember. Hang on. Either way, then come and get me, I'll be looking forward to it. Right, I just want to... So, you know... Ah... Uh, yeah, I don't know. There was a character that constantly said it in one of the previous cases, I'm certain. But I don't know who it is. That is, if you can bring me to justice, but I highly doubt that. Oh dear. Boom. Sound like a gunshot. Or did he just drop the phone? Mic drop. Oh my god. Who in the world was that? Oh no. We don't have enough in information. Darn it, we're totally clueless. Meanwhile, they seem to know everything about us know everything about us. Okay, you're right. Thinking about it, it is strange. How does a culprit know so much about us? It's so weird. I mean, they even know about the kidnapping. We must figure out how the culprit was able to obtain that information. I must recall. What exactly does that person know? Really quite alike. So basically, from case 4 onwards. Hmm. That's it! By analysing our conversation with the culprit. Figured it out, Kay. I know the source of this person's information. What, really? In all likelihood, this person probably planted a bug on us. More specifically, on K. I believe it's highly likely that we have been bugged. But bugged? If you recall what that person said, they only know some information. You seem surprised. If only I could see the look on your faces. 
If they couldn't see our faces, that means they weren't taking our pictures or following us. Then, they must have pointed a bug somewhere. Could it be in my stuff? Was there anything they could have had... Was there anything they could have had a chance to bug? There must be a hint somewhere in our conversation just now. That's right. That person knew something they shouldn't have. The conversation between Judge Courtney and myself. In the visitor's room. Judge Courtney! Hush. Please, have a seat. The only evidence I had with me at the time was... Where was the book planted? Can I actually check it? Oh. Okay, they haven't actually planted it. Oh, it's not on this, anyway. Unless... No, that's just the clip. Alright, I can present. And then find it. I guess. It would be on the back of it. Okay, may I see your badge? May I ask a badge? No way. But why not? Mr. Edgeworth, just because you became a great thief's assistant doesn't mean you're ready to wear this badge yet. That's not it. It's very likely that a bug was planted in it. What? In my badge? Let's take a closer look. Okay, now we do this. Where, where, where? Oh, now I can examine the back. You're an anus. Is that the bug? Oh! I didn't realize it opened up. Ah, this is... It seems I was right. Yagarasi's badge, data updated in my organizer. Case always wearing it, a bug was planted in it. What a dick. How did you know? The person had been in contact with you. You mean, when I was knocked unconscious? Yes, that's, well, that's why I thought one of your possessions might have been bugged. However, that person also overheard my conversation with Judge Courtney. Even though that conversation took place in the visitor's room with just the two of us. So you were holding on to it at that time. Exactly. All the other evidence had been taken away from me. Only the Atagarasi's badge remained with me. So this creep's been listening in on us the whole time? Indeed. That must be how they knew about all the information we collected. Does that mean they're also listening in on this conversation? Most likely. Hey, Buster. Okay. Eavesdropping is for cowards. Why don't you come out here and fight us fair and square? We heard a big old bang. Hmm? What was that sound just now? Nicole! <laughs> Ow! Huh? That's... Nicole! What a fool. Honestly, you all scared the bejesus out of me. Boop, 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 boop. Your voice was so loud there, little missy. I was so surprised I done fell flat on my behind. Uh, I'm sorry. What were you getting so riled up for? You gotta hear this. It really grinds my gears. Yes, yes. Okay. Please just leave it at that. Unless you want to make tomorrow morning's headlines. Ah, that was close. Ah, oh, shucks. Don't be such a stick in the mud. What's wrong with letting a gal open her heart and spill the beans? For now, I'll turn the bug off. There we go. Oh, the person in the red hood. So, did you find the kidnappers? Miss Swift, was the boy you saw being kidnapped? This boy in the photo? Hmm? Nope, they ain't got- they ain't nothing alike. He had a more stupid looking face, and was wearing a collared school uniform. I thought so. Yet again, we were led astray by this woman's testimony. We'll have to conduct our investigation all over again. Great. So, we're back to- we're back where we started. Are there any new leads? Oh, fuck, we're running out of time. There's only 20 minutes left until 2 o'clock. Will we be able to make it in time? The call! Ah. Uh, Mr. Edgeworth. Mr. Edgeworth, about that phone call just now. Wasn't there a strange sound at the end? A strange sound? Yeah, there was like a boom. Like he dropped the phone or an explosion. Don't think you can get away with this. Then come and get me. I'll be looking forward to it. That is, if you can bring me to justice. But I highly doubt that. Yeah, there. Boom. 
Now that you mention it, it sounded like an explosion. Sound of an explosion was heard during the call from the kidnapper. Hmm. Might be a hint to establish the culprit's whereabouts. Mm-hmm, I see, I see. The sound of an explosion, eh? Hmm. I would appreciate it if you stopped eavesdropping on us. Mr. Prosecutor, you're as stingy as ever. First, let's see what she has to say. Also, I was hoping to do two of these part like chapters, but it seems I'm only going to get to do one of them. Yeah, it's nearly been two hours. A whole lot longer than I thought. All my hard work's helped move the case forward. I reckon it's all in a good day's work. I'm not so sure about that. We've been chasing after an entirely different person. Indeed, it seems she did not properly examine the photo earlier. What now? Was my info really all that bad? No, some of the blame also falls on us for relying on a dubious information source. It's time for us to regroup and start over. Could you hold on a sec? If you think I'm staying quiet after being called a dubious source, you got another thing coming. Fine then, guess I'll just have to tell you about the scoop I've been saving. You've been saving a scoop? The scoop. Although I'm not expecting much, let's hear it. What is this scoop of yours? It's Mozilla. I have decisive evidence that the, the mighty Mozilla exists. Okay, let's go, okay. <laughs> Hold up. I'm being serious. Y'all might not believe it, but it's true. We don't have much time, but... I guess there's no other way. Would this decisive evidence of yours be something you recorded on that tape recorder? That's right, Mr. Oh, that's Mr. Edgeworth for you. You're good at figuring things out, aren't you? It's the sound of Mozilla spewing out fire. This place nearly became a sea of flames. If you say so. Don't make that face. If you think I'm lying, then have a listen for yourself. Ready? Here comes the flame. How was that? Hmm. Hard to tell over your shouting, but if you say so, I guess there could be flames. Miss Swift, did you truly witness these so-called flames? Well, to tell you the truth, I didn't really see it with my own two eyes. On account of... Um... I wasn't actually there at the time. If Mozilla had appeared, wouldn't you have noticed no matter where you were? Uh, well... I was a ways off, and was using a slightly... A slightly unusual recording method, so... Hmm... Can you explain to me this recording method in more detail? Uh... Guess I just dug my own grave. The recording method. Truth is, I was aiming for a scoop. So I did me some wireless wiretapping. Wait a minute. Wireless wiretapping? If there's no wires, how'd you tap them? Okay, please don't concern yourself with the semantics. She was simply intercepting wireless communications and listening in without permission. I've been spending the last few days scoping out the Grand Tower with my mentor. So, you're investigating the black market auctions? Ba -ba 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 -ba. In that case, you naturally would have tapped the immediate area surrounding the Grand Tower. You betcha. But, right then and there, I hear an ear shattering it raw. Finally, Moozilla appears. My heart is pounding, I feel him drawing near. So, everything except the sound is just her own personal impressions, right? In the end, it seems that you didn't actually see anything. Well, I reckon writing's more my thing. Anyways, as I continued tuning into the situation, Little Miss K over there almost shattered my eardrums. He's dropping his cowards, why don't you come out? Yeah, come out here and fight the first square. Woo! Na -na -na. Hmm? What was that sound just now? Yes, she fell on her ass. Right on the caboose. I see, Miss Swift. While you were eavesdropping, you were surprised by Kay's voice and fell over. In other words, you did not hear her voice directly. You heard it via the radio waves emitted by the bug, did you not? What? Then does that mean the one who planted the bug on me was... I was just eavesdropping. I'd never stoop to bugging nobody. Miss Swift, do you mind if we borrow that tape for a while? Ugh. 
Just do what you please already. So Nicole's tape recorder, recording of what was intercepted from the book was planted on care. Oh, that was planted on care. Oh, look who it is. Mr. Edworth, Regina and Simon. Mr. Keys, Miss Berry. Did you find? Did you find him? Not yet. Just where could John be? John? Ah, no, no, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. They don't know anything about the kidnapping. We got in Sebastian. We found him not too long ago. Really? That's great. Thank you so much. No, I won't be arrested again. No. Oh. Who's this? Is that Gumshoe? Wait a minute, is it Gumshoe? Oh, it's Gumshoe! Ah! Uh, Gummy, why are you running away? Detective Gumshoe? When Mr. Edwards gave up his prosecutor's badge, I just didn't know what to do. Detective Gumshoe, don't follow me. And then, I began to think. If Mr. Edgeworth isn't a prosecutor anymore, doesn't that mean I'm no longer a detective? Or does that mean I'm no longer a detective? But that's not true. Even without Mr. Edgeworth, I'm still a detective and investigating is my job. Detectives don't investigate just for the sake of the pro of prosecutors, pal. That's why, even if I'm on my own, I won't stop investigating. So you've been investigating by yourself? And perhaps, at that time... You should thank your former subordinate. He gave me some valuable information which may save Kay Faraday. Detective Gumshoe did? So, Jill Crane's autopsy report. I went to the detention centre to see how Kay was doing. That's when I heard. When you get to where I am, you can just create your own truths. Anytime you want. Kay Faraday is a culprit. That was a truth that I simply manufactured out of thin air. Cause I'm an asshole. Good, very good. That face, that expression. You heard that conversation? That's right. And that's why I looked over the evidence again myself, sir. Tell me, that's amazing. So it was you who saved me. Okay, I'm really glad you got your memories back. Thank you. Do you get it now? I can investigate on my own. Gummy, don't run away. You've already proven that you can investigate on your own. After all, you saved me. Detective, I need your help. Currently, I'm not a prosecutor, nor am I much of anything else. Even so, I will pursue this case. I ask you to... I ask you not as a prosecutor, but as a friend. Detective Gumshoe, will you help us? Aww. Oh, wow. Ooh. Please, cut it out, sir. Gummy. <laughs> okay, I get it. I get it, pal. I can't bear to see Mr. Edgeworth bowing his head to me like this. Gummy! Thank you, detective. What do you want? Pardon me. What do you want me to do, sir? Investigation! Detective Gumshoe, please tell me what you found in your investigation so far. Roger, leave it to me, sir. I have three things to report. First up... It's about Kate's clothes that were sent to the crime lab. Traces of an extremely powerful sleeping drug called Sleepy... <laughs> Sleepy ZZZ were found on them. So that means after Kate was drugged at God Lake, she was brought to the roof of the Grand Tower. That's right, sir. Now for item number two. The footage from the security camera at the Grand Tower's elevator 
The footage that captured President Huang and Judge Courtney going up to the roof. The elevator was generally the only way to get to the rooftop. And if the elevator was used, the person who used it would be caught on camera. Exactly. In other words, if you look over the footage from a couple of days ago, you should be able to see an unconscious kid being carried up to the roof. Then Gummy, does that mean you... I checked out all the footage from before the incident two days ago and on fast forward. I see. And the results? Well, actually, nothing came up, sir. K never showed up on the tape at all. That was unexpected. I guess it won't be so easy. How was K brought up to the roof of the tower? I should take a moment to carefully consider the possibilities. Well then, let's head your third and final report. Yes sir, last but not least, the most important thing to report. I'm so happy to be able to investigate with you again, Mr. Edgeworth. I'm gonna give it my all to arrest the culprit. That is all, sir. Hm. I apologize for putting you through so much, Detective. Not Detective Gumshoe. However, that was your most important report. It had nothing to do with the case at all. I would have preferred something that a that's actually useful. Ugh. That merciless attitude, that's the Mr. Edgeworth I know, sir. Hey! The kidnapping. A young boy has been kidnapped. I want you to help su help us search for him. A uh, kidnapping, sir. The victim is a boy by the name of John Marsh. That kid with the horns. Yes, do you know about him? I saw that by myself, sir. Was that this morning? That's right, he came out of that trailer over there. And then... He walked towards the garbage pickup area. The garbage pickup area? It's right over there, pal. That's where all the trash from the Grand Tower's offices is collected. Doo -doo. I don't know what happened after that. Since I left the place around then, it seems we must investigate the garbage pickup area. Hmm. Here we go! Gummy said John headed toward the garbage pickup area. Indeed. There might be some traces of him left behind. Oh. This must be where he was nabbed. Seeming that way. This milk carton is... It's the one John was drinking out of. There's no mistake. Something must have happened to John here. Oh. Is that it? There's also a lock. Looks like the garbage pickup area is locked. Probably to prevent people outside of the Grand Tower from disposing of their trash here. Garbage pickup at 11? The garbage pickup time is at 11 a.m., so that's why there's no trash. When I looked here earlier, the place was overflowing with garbage there. Which means. Looks like today is the day when bulk waste is collected during the garbage pickup. Why didn't they take the milk carton? There really were a lot of bulky items placed there, pal. The garbage trucks... Garbage trucks compacted can crush any kind of garbage to dust. Now it seems, in the case of bulk waste, it is transported as is, without being crushed. Huh. What do you know about how bulk waste is disposed of, Mr. Edgeworth? Maybe Mr. Shields, in order to accomplish his... Wait. In order to accomplish his Mr. Ed Edgeworth acquisition plan, Sent him something like a moving process instructional brochure. There are times when you're so sharp, it's scary. Although, there are they're few and far between. Combined with Detective Gumshoe's testimony, the chances are high that John was attacked at the garbage pickup area. John's small carton was found here, likely the place he was attacked. Well, now I can logic. If it was here, there wouldn't be many witnesses. But, why would John have come to a place like this? Hmm. It would be natural to think that he came here to throw something away. We have no way of knowing since the garbage truck has already collected everything. Except for the carton. Which I just find very weird. Let's speak to these two. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As expected of Mr. Edwards, how did you find him? Naturally, it was all thanks to his powers of log logic and reasoning. Actually, it was just a coincidence. Oh, I can actually sit, uh, speak.
Do I or do I do logic? I'll logic first. Boom, 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 boom. Either way, so garbage pickup area, cars that came through. We still have the three footprints, which we still have nothing, like no idea what the hell they're tied to. The only vehicles that came through the plaza this morning were the taxi and a blue truck. And Mr. The Best was kidnapped in that taxi. Meanwhile, I guess, meanwhile, John was attacked in the garbage pickup area. And the garbage was collected from there at 11 a.m. Got it, sir. The blue truck was actually... That's right. The blue truck that came through the plaza was a garbage truck. However, be that as it may, the officer who gave us this information made no mention that the blue truck was a garbage truck. Talk about careless. How could someone mistake a garbage truck for a normal truck? That's not it, Kay. Today was the day for the collection of bulk waste. I suspect it was a standard truck without a trash compactor that came by to collect the trash. John was taken away by this garbage truck. And where'd a garbage truck go? To the dump, of course. Hold up. The culprit was disguised as a garbage collector, right? Then the truck was completely fake, too. How do we know they really went to the dump? No, the garbage truck should have been real. Eh? Why is that? That will be made clear if you simply take a look at the garbage pickup area. Oh, it's locked. The garbage pickup area is locked. Ah, only a real garbage collector could have unlocked it to collect the trash. Precisely. We should assume that a genuine garbage truck was used. For example, the kidnapper could have put John into a large cardboard box. If the box was mixed in with the rest of the bulk waste, the garbage collector would have carried John away without even knowing it. Exactly. The culprit would then lie in wait at the garbage dump. And if they said, I threw it away by mistake, the box would be returned to them. Hmm. Any garbage dumps nearby? Let's see. Ah, there's two of them. Don Water Waste and... Not Don Waste Center. So, which garbage dump, dump was he taken to? Hmm. So, which garbage dump? John was likely taken to one of these two places. Which one was it? Would there be a hint in any of the information I hold? No. Right, now I'll speak with Simon. Search for Sebastian! I guess we weren't any help at all, were we? Don't be silly, of course you helped. Really, thanks a lot. Where were you guys searching, Simon? It was a bit far off, but we searched around the Sunshine Coliseum. Okay. The Sunshine Coliseum? So they were by the shore. Ooh! There are a lot of people at the event there, so I thought you might have gone as well. Ooh, oh, pardon me. An event? Sounds like fun. Is it a festival? I want to go too. It was a lot of fun. There were food stands, fireworks, and much more. Someone got worn out by all the people in the crowd pretty quickly, though. You didn't have to tell them what... <laughs> you didn't have to tell them that. It's settled. Once we wrap up this case, let's all go there. So, events at the Coliseum. So, food stands, fireworks, and fireworks at the Sunshine Coliseum. So, the circus show. At any rate, I'm glad you were able to find him so quickly. Why is that? Truth is, our circus show is about to start soon. So, I didn't think we would have been able to help out with the search much longer. Hmm, sorry to burden you with this when you're also needed to prepare for your performance. No, no, it's okay. Please don't worry about it. After all, I also didn't want to get arrested again. I'm so relieved you were able to find him, Mr. Edgeworth. Yeah, but the warden still hasn't declared... No, still hasn't been declared guilty yet. What? So you're saying there's still a chance I might be arrested? No way, no way, no way, no way! Okay, please don't tease him. Okay, I've done all that. Wait, so what do we have as a logic? 
Three footprints, events. We heard an explosion and there were fireworks. Could it have been that? It's a real big firework. Going taboo. Mr. Keys, didn't you say that there were fireworks at the Coliseum earlier? Huh? What about them? Were those fireworks set off during the day? Yeah. Even just while we were there, a bunch of them were set off. What is it, Mr. Edgeworth? The explosion. That explosion sound we heard at the end of the kidnapper's phone. Phone call. Could very well have been the fireworks. Don't think you can get away with this. Yes, come and get me, I'll be looking forward to it. That is, if you can bring me to justice, but I highly doubt that. Boom. For the sound to have been picked up by the phone, it must have been fairly loud. So that means the culprit was near the Colosseum. The sound of the fireworks means the kidnapper was near Sunshine Colosseum. Hmm. Even so, I bet the fireworks could be heard in lots of places around the Colosseum. Indeed, it would be impossible for us to search the entire area by ourselves. If only we could have the police lend us a hand. Wait, I know! Wait, so boom! So it's the dump near the Colosseum. Based on the explosion sound we heard from the kidnapper's phone, we know that John is being confined someplace in the vicinity of the Colosseum. One of the garbage dumps is right next to the Colosseum. Don, Wa uh, Don Waste Center. I keep wanting to call it Don Water. Don Water Waste. John was almost certainly taken there. In which case, the place he is being confined, confined to must also be somewhere close by. Detective Gumshoe. Yes, sir. Could I ask you to search the area around this garbage dump? You don't have to ask me like we're strangers, sir. It feels so distant. Please, just order me around like you normally do. Are you sure, Detective? Right now I'm not a prosecutor. Didn't I tell you, sir? Detectives don't just investigate for the sake of prosecutors. You have my thanks, Detective. It's weird, he wants to be ordered. Ah, oh, Gumshoe, you're weird. Mr. Edgeworth, look, it's almost time. Oh, 